Hello friends, I am Alexander Cuiava, new media artist, producer of creative content and retired VJ. And in this short video, I will tell you and show you what is the big difference between the video mapping toolkit category and projection textures, and I will also show you how you can animate projection textures very quickly. So, what is the main difference between video mapping toolkits and projection textures? There and there we have decorative elements of the facade, these are columns, windows, arches, arcades, pediments, cornices, and so on. But the video mapping toolkits are already created with animation on the alpha channel. For example, if we now look at this toolkit with fire stylization, we will see that there is already a complete animation. It is rendered as a PNG sequences. You just import it into After Effects, there is an alpha channel, and immediately integrate it into your facade. Projection mapping textures, you can find by going to this category. These are also decorative elements of the facade, such as columns, windows, cornices, pediments, and so on, but they are not animated. That is, in fact, if we open one of the collection. You will see that there are a lot of different frames that you can use for your composition. The point of projection textures is that you will have to animate them yourself. You can do this through After Effects, I will show you how this is possible. Or, for example, with the help of AI, as an option. More about this in other courses and lessons at FrontSkill. In fact, these are not animations, but simple images, textures. And as you can see, they are on a black background, there is no alpha channel here. Many customers ask how we can create alpha channels. First of all, there are several options. The first, the simplest, you will cut it all yourself, there are not so many small elements. Depending on how much you like this or that texture, you can quickly cut it yourself in Photoshop. If you don't want to bother, you can throw this picture into an online background remover service. There are a lot of AI services that do remove background and you will have a PNG with an alpha channel. I think in the future, when we tune our workflow a little bit, we will generate these projection textures with the alpha channel. But now they are with black background and they suit us. We also can use After Effects and other toolkits, for example, to create an alpha channel. First of all, let me now go to After Effects, create a small composition, for example, 1080 by 1080 and import one of our textures here. The first option we can do is to make a black keying. How to do it? Open keying and select linear color key. Select the color and key it by color. Thus, we get a structure. With the alpha channel, this is the first option, but as you can see, there is no animation, you can basically use the mask in the same way, I choose lasso and so on as an option, then what else can you do, for example, you can import. One of our toolkits, which, in principle, before we distributed to many people for free. You can, in principle, buy it, it is not so expensive anymore, in fact, and this toolkit you can, in principle, use as a matrix base input image for masks and possible animations, as an option. Let me open one of these toolkits. File. Toolkit 3. Arcs. Exactly the same rectangular arc. Once again, when importing, if no one knows, be sure to press this button. PNG sequence. Import as PNG sequence. Because if you don't press this checkbox, you just import one picture, nothing will happen. Therefore, you should always set import as checkbox. Here we have our animation. This is a very simple animation. As you can see, it's just a normal sliding. What can we do? We can just use this toolkit element as a mask. This arch, more precisely, as a mask. Select our layer, Blending Mode and Stencil Alpha. We can correct it a little bit to make it even. 
and we get animation on alpha channel in this way, using toolkits in conjunction with projection textures you can animate any interesting texture that you like as you understand. I created a very large number of these projection textures. I can spend my whole life animating them. Therefore, choose the texture pack that you like the most. Choose the animation of any of the video mapping toolkit that suits you best. Because we have different styles. Somewhere there is fire, somewhere there is cyberpunk, somewhere there are some smooth vintage textures. For example, for a vintage texture, we need a smooth animation. Therefore, we can take volume 30, where we have some smooth vintage curls. Or, for example, Golden Age Volume 20, where there are also completely vintage patterns. And for cybernetic, cyberpunk or techno elements, we can take some more strict animations. For example, glitch or rock animation and so on. Let me show you one example. Now I'm working on one toolkit. Template for animation and masking of various toolkits. For example, we have such a beautiful animation. Look, I'll turn it off for now for 8 seconds such a beautiful techno style. Let's add a mirror to make it closer like this, let's try. And, for example, you can use this animation to animate your own elements that are in the projection textures. Let's take a beautiful column as an option. Put it here. And we use this element as a mask blending mode stencil alpha and we have not just a black and white animation, but an animation with a texture that looks much more beautiful than just an animation. Let's take another one motion element. Let's try this triangle, let's take another column this one for example. That is, we have our picture on a black background without an alpha channel. But as soon as we use the animation, use it as a mask, we get such a beauty. You can expand it a little. Depending on your animation, you use this layer as a mask. We can use two in one. Let's try. Like this. It is also very interesting to do various variations. You can compile animations as you want. Done. And now we do pre-compose. Use texture and use mask stencil alpha. Here you see what kind of beauty we get. For example, if we combine it pre-compose in one layer, we get a mask. Let's increase the size of our composition. I'll turn it to minus 90. I'll add a reflect here. And here we have a whole cornice from the column which is animated very beautifully which we can also use for our video mapping as an option. For example, I'll make a pattern with Ctrl D, duplicate, one more. It fits perfectly. We've got a techno battery, which can be used as a VJ clip, VJ loop for beautiful immersive visuals, interior video projections. You saw how with one element and one motion animation we duplicated the content into another product, a VJ clip, which we can use in another industry. Depending on what kind of toolkits you have, and depending on what projection textures you have, you can do a lot of different animations. Let's try this one. This is volume 55. Techno. Of course, when working in After Effects, you can add glowing effects, light effects, and so on. Let's open motion 14, let's take this one. Turn it off for now, 
and open 55th Techno Neon Collection. Let's take some beautiful column. Let's use it as an option. Adjust the size and turn it on as a stencil alpha. This is our animation. Everything is in techno style of course. When you add different glow effect here, it will be even more beautiful. But I think you understand the point of course. Let's open some more motion elements. This is already a work with toolkits and projection textures. I invert to make it noticeable. A little bit of timing. I think the meaning is clear. That is, we use our motion elements, toolkits as a mask. Choose any toolkit that you like, in any style, any shape. We have thin, fat lines, smooth transitions, there are more strict, there are ragged animations, there are smoother, and so on. That is, there is even a different stylization. And animate your elements as you want and having an access both video mapping toolkits and projection textures you can make a very cool video mapping show. Thank you for your attention and see you soon.